We're here looking at some of the presentations for the Agile Business Conference 2011. I'm here with Doc Tudor, Technical Director and Agile Coach at TCC Limited, which is a silver sponsor at this year's conference. Doc, your presentation is on Agile Leadership under the title Autobots and Decepticons. I'm intrigued to know more about the Agile Matrix of Leadership mentioned in the programme, which has been created to help project leaders. What can you tell us about it in advance? Well, thank you very much for inviting me here today to talk to you. The Agile Matrix of Leadership. This was a substantial piece of work which I was involved in um, with Agilists from the UK, the US, Europe, um, and reviewed by the Agile community, and is a set of competencies which underpin successful um, Agile project leadership. You'll be presenting in the public sector track. How does Agile apply to the current challenges in the public sector? Well, we all know the challenges, I think, that the public sector are facing. Ever more cuts, and cuts have been going on for a very long time now, for very many years. Um, in fact, I was talking to a colleague just the other day who was saying, once again, we're being asked to do more with less. Now, the only way that you can do more with less is actually to cut the quality. And that isn't what people want to do. However, if we use Agile, perhaps rather than doing more with less, we can focus on what we do and focus on doing the right things. And that will give us more value for the money that we actually do have to spend. So we know that well-run Agile projects deliver substantial benefits, such as on-time, on-cost delivery. But what other benefits can Agile deliver? Well, I think if we look at on-time and on-cost and add to that on-quality, the right quality, and we can get that by involving the right users, the right customer representation, um, the right skills within the teams, and actually by honing what we do, by the way that we deliver, and we deliver frequently, deliver in small increments, judge by what we've done, and actually use that to improve our delivery for the future, then our quality will be better. And on scope, we try to work out beforehand just exactly what we need, but if we can work out the most essential things, and we can actually deliver those, learn from what we've delivered and deliver in order of importance what we actually need, then again, we'll get better scope, we'll get better quality, as well as the on-time, on-cost delivery. And what would you say to a project manager who remains sceptical about using an agile approach? I think I might ask, what are you doing at the moment? How successfully, how consistently are you delivering at the moment? Are you delivering what people need? Are you keeping to time and budget? If the answer is yes, then, well, maybe they don't need to change. But if the answer is no, or if the answer is it isn't consistent, then Agile is a way of giving that consistency. It's a way of focusing on, on time and on budget delivery, but focusing what, on where the business value really needs to come from. And finally, Doc, I've been dying to ask, why Autobots and Decepticons? Well, there are many different ways of leading people, many different leadership styles. And the Autobots and Decepticons of the recent films do have something to say about that. So I'd suggest that you come along to the presentation, get your popcorn, get your ice cream, sit down and see what they have to say about it. Thanks very much for your time, Doc. We'll see you at the Agile Business Conference 2011. Thank you. I look forward to that.